Of course, it takes a tremendous amount of work to put on the Bedford Road Invitational Tournament each and every year, going for 46 years now. It starts way back in the fall, and there's probably no greater burden on anyone's shoulders than on the Brit hostesses who have been working so hard since fall began. Joined now by Caitlin and Caitlin. <laughs> They're going to tell us all a little bit about it. We're going to start with you, Caitlin. Tell me a little bit, to, first of all, what's it like? Because we heard it starts back in September. What have the last few months been like for you just getting ready for this? Well, we do a lot um, of like, we cut things out and we do lots of like that kind of work, but we also help with like the bigger picture. So we make the, the programs and like we put up the panels and do all that sorts of stuff. Good stuff. So now, Caitlin, have you been involved in, in this tournament in the past in, in other roles? Um, I usually compete with the Bedford Road cheerleading team. Okay. Sure. So, but this year we're not having a team, so I decided to try and get involved in another way. That's interesting. So you've gotten to see this from a few different perspectives then yeah. uh, as a cheerleader, now as a hostess, uh, which is tougher? Definitely hostessing, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> cheerleading is really physical and hostessing is just a lot of organization, I think. Kind of non-stop go, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. So do you have an idea of, of what a day is going to be like for you, especially when you're looking at, say, Friday, Saturday, uh, those days where there's, there's games going all day, there's constant activity, constant turnover. What are you anticipating these days to be like? Well, we stay for every game here and then afterwards we go and we inform the press um, of like the scores and things like that and we get um, we help out the hostesses and the coaches and anything they kind of need where their gals to go to. Absolutely. Let's talk about uh, this weekend as it as it wraps up. Let, let, look ahead to Saturday night. The championship game comes to an end. Do you think you're just kind of going to go and collapse or, or what's it going to be like for you? Oh, definitely. I think that it's like that for all of our school pretty much. Um, we all just like to take the weekend after Brit and relax. <laughs> Good stuff. Now, and uh, are you basketball fans? Are you looking forward to seeing some good basketball this weekend? Of course. All right. Good stuff. Caitlin, yourself? Oh, yeah. I All love right. some good, good, good basketball. Stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for talking to us. I don't want to keep you too long because I'm sure you've got a full plate. So, so thanks, girls. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you.